Bar in São Paulo, which is in the middle of the Atlantic Forest. It was really easy to fall in love with this tropical environment and to try to do something to preserve and to increase the amount of forest cover of this really threatened biome that is one of the most beautiful of all on Earth. So the problem is that this is a highly populated area in Brazil. 70% of the population lives in this region we already lost more than 70% of this biome. Currently, we have more than 6 billion hectares trying to be restored. However, every time that you change the landscape, not only by the forest, but also by restoring, we provoke a change in the fauna communities, in the ecological process, and this can have an effect on the transmission risk of zoonotic diseases. And this is what we are going to try to understand in this project, how this forest restoration, not only forest loss, is going to affect the spillover risk of rodent-borne diseases. So in this project, we will be collecting rodents, rodent data, small mammal, and we will be testing for the viral community that these rodents are carrying. The primary goal is to try to understand how forest restoration can create landscapes that are going to be good for human health. It's important to restore the forest because these forest areas, they are important for the provision of several ecosystem services. Water quality, water quantity, clean air, climate mitigation, and also disease regulation services. So forests, they are very important. I want to, to bring back to life all the mammal communities. I want to see pumas, I want to see quatis, I want to see tyras, jaguars. Jaguars are really threatened in the Atlantic Forest and they have such an important role in controlling all the fauna community. Just to see the possibility to make a change is something amazing and I think we need to embrace this. And if we can, it, the time is now. We need to do something now. Without nature, we don't live.